Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bearded Reef. My name's Ross. Today's video we're going to be looking at my latest hitchhiker that I've found in the tank. Not great, but we get it out. Okay, so first of all, welcome back everybody. Um, hope you're all staying safe and doing well out there. Um, so, yeah, this week, um, I know I'd said I'd upload a different video, but what's happened this week is I've found a hitchhiker in the tank. Um, this all stems back, I think, well it does, to when I added in the cleanup crew. Um, I know there was a couple of comments uh, about how I added them in and so on, if you go back and see that video. But one of the comments was that I didn't um, give the shells a brush down. So um, the comment was that I should have scrubbed the shells when I put them in. Didn't know that, didn't think of that, um, so I didn't do it. So the other night when I was sitting watching the tank, um, I noticed a kind of a worm type thing moving out of the top of um, one of the actual hermit crab shells that's in the tank. So I spoke to a couple of people, um, and it was Paul from the Fish Palace again, who had um, given me a recommendation that it could be a vermeted snail. I hope I've pronounced that right, but um, vermeted is I think how you pronounce it. So the vermeted snail, um, a pest, it's going to eat the coral. I know I don't have coral in the tank yet, but it's a pest. So I wanted to get it out. Um, a couple of ways that Paul suggested to remove it was either to cut the tip off it or put super glue on top of it so that it couldn't move. So on looking at it, um, the way it was on the back of the shell, was quite difficult. Um, you'll see in the clip just now how I actually got rid of it, but um, wasn't going to be the most easiest of manoeuvres doing it either way. That so ended up um, taking it out and removing the shell and the snail all together and leaving the hermit crab um, with its shell in the tank. So that's what I've done. Um, I'll put a clip in now to show you what I found in the first place. So here's what I actually come in and seen with the worm type fermented snail sticking out the bottom. Okay, so in this clip here, um, if you look down kind of the bottom of the snail, you can just see the wee white bit poking out and then it darts back in again as I give it a fright. Um, I sat and watched this for a wee bit, tried to get this video, so this video's off my phone, it's not the great quality, but it'll do. Um, like I say, you can see it's kind of, I don't know what that is, it's, it's nose or tentacle, whatever you want to call it, coming out. A couple of antennas each side, so that was it kind of sucking the glass, its shell, so on, just to try and get whatever was there. So as you can see there, um, definitely didn't look good. If it was the vermitted snail, then I wanted to get it out. So set about um, get everything prepared and pull the snail out of the tank, removed it from the shell. So I'll put the clip in just now that shows the process of doing that. Um, not the best of videos, I put the GoPro on the head strap on my head so that I could kind of film it as I was going. So hopefully it's all good for everybody. Um, have a look at that and see what you guys think. And I'll join you after that. I'll try and do a wee talk over the top of it just to, to let you know what's happening. But that's what we'll do anyway. So yeah, I'll roll that footage now and you can take a look for yourselves. Okay, so let's see if we can get this little guy out from here. Um, First of all, I've got this tub here which I'll fill up with some water and we'll go from there. Okay, so I just used this um, Pyrex bowl I've got here just to fill up the wee container with water. Um, left the return pumps on, I switched off the auto top off and so on so it wouldn't top up with RO water. Um, I just wanted to use some tank water for doing this. So the crab had actually wedged itself in a bit of rock there, so it was a bit of a nightmare to get out, but. Um, I managed to get it out, I had to put my hand in the tank again, didn't want to do that, but no other way for that, I'm afraid. As you can see, the crab's um, still in there, so it's tucked away now, and we can start getting this off. So this is just a little sharp knife that I've got. I um, thought I would try that first, try and chip away at it. Um, snail it's a bit slimy kind of thing, so it's a bit awkward to try and hold. So I had a couple of goes with this. Um, don't know how I didn't stab myself in the finger, but never mind. So I just thought I would kind of keep going with it, see how I get on, um, and try and chip the little bit of the shell off. I couldn't get to the snail, whatever it was that was inside. Um, it seemed like I'd, I'd managed to kind of suction down quite well. 
So, not really sure why or how it was, but just thought I would keep trying with a knife, try and get it off that way. Um, like I say, I, I could have probably put the glue over the top of it, like Paul suggested, but um, I, I just thought I'd rather get it off. So yeah, just to make things a bit easier now, um, what I've done was just take that microfiber towel just to hold the snail because it's getting a bit slippy, I thought I was going to end up stabbing myself there, so I thought I would use that to hold the shell and try and prise it off. So as you can see, I um, managed to get a bit of leverage underneath, get a bit of it prized off, broke the first bit um, and then managed to get the whole thing off after that. So I don't know if you can see or not in the video, but there is actually the creature Hitchhiker or whatever it is inside that little shell I took off. Um, left a kind of clean bit of the shell. I just made sure there was nothing else in it. Kind of sure everyone's all right, but yeah, it looked good and that was it off cleanly. So all good. Now, like I mentioned before, when I put the shells in, um, I had forgot. No, I didn't forget. I didn't know really about giving them a scrub before I put them in. So got a new toothbrush here. Um, make sure it's not a used one, obviously and just gave the shell a scrub. I've um, done that with all the shells in the tank as well just to make sure there's nothing on them but yeah, I just wanted to make sure they were all clean. And that's the snail going back in the tank. Um, dropped it in and watched how it went. This is what's left from whatever it was, the fermented snail. Uh, it's not really easy to see on camera to be fair, um, GoPro that I use doesn't have a great zoom, doesn't have great uh, autofocus, so yeah, that's really um, that's the best we can do with that I'm afraid, but it is removed and everything's gone. So as you can see, um, the snail's back in the tank again, and you can see the kind of clean bit on the right hand side there where I took the snail off of it. Um, Everyone was fine with that. It did start to poke its um, legs out there. You can see on the left hand side of the snail, it's starting to come out. So, um, crab kind of went back to normal again, started walking about the tank. Um, and believe it or not, it's chopped and changed shells a couple of times since then. Um, but it's now back to the original shell that you see there and wandering in the tank quite happy. So, I think that was quite successful. Um, first time I've really seen a hitchhiker on anything, so it's kind of new to me, but yeah. There we have it. So that's really the process of removing the vermitted snail. Okay, so as you can see, that's um, the vermitted snail being removed from the hermit crab shell, and everything seems to be okay. So I've been keeping an eye on the tank to make sure that I haven't seen any more. Um, I think it was only the one, like I said, I didn't scrub the shells at the time. So the shells that were in there, I've took them all out and just gave them a quick scrub anyway, just to make sure there's nothing on them. Um, hopefully that was the only one, caught it in time, uh, it's not going to do any damage, hasn't reproduced or anything. So, fingers crossed, that's whatever the hitchhiker was removed from the tank. Um, again, apologies, it's been a bit of a, a boring video this one, but, you know, somebody might come across this and not know what to do. I didn't know what to do in the first place as well. So, that's kind of the whole point of this channel. I'm not, I'm not an expert, I don't know anything about this, I'm just starting out, I'm all new, so... If I can help somebody else with anything like this, then brilliant. That's that's the kind of goal of this. So, um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing that and something a bit different. Um, I hope I don't have any more hitchhikers to show you, so hopefully this will be the last video. Um, like I say, I, I didn't use live rock to start with or anything like that. So, only hitchhikers that will be in there are ones that I've introduced through Future Coral, Cleanup Crew or so on. Um, yeah, so... That's really the end of this video folks, thanks again for watching, um, if you haven't already, if you could like, comment, subscribe in the video and also like I said before visit my Instagram page at bearded.reef, um, I'd really appreciate that. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below, I'll answer them as quick as I can. And yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, really appreciate it, thanks for all your help again, take care, bye bye.